Okay, I wedge my clay, and then before I spin it, I'll throw it down, take my finger, seal it, okay, seal it, cone, once I get the cone, push it over, now I'm bracing myself, with my body centering it, pushing down, I can make it real flat and wide if I want to start with a wide base, or I can bring it more narrow, it's up to you. I would start probably more narrow, make my hole, open up my hole, Once I get the width I like, make a little hook underneath. Then I start my pull. You see I'm pulling to the center? You do that because the centrifugal force is going to want to open it automatically. Okay. I think that's tall enough. I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. So that's two pulls, right? Right now, this is my second pull. Okay, I did my two pulls. My third pull can be to straighten it. I can use, let's use a rib, a wooden rib. Some people use a sponge on the inside. You don't have to, you can use your fingers. My rib is running right, I mean the sponge is running right on the inside of the rib. Not to the outside. Straight up the rib, okay? So the sponge is coming straight up like this, okay? Not over here, not over here. Straight up, okay? I have a decent cylinder. Is it big enough? I hope so. It's six inches tall, and it's four inches on the inside. I would say it's big enough, okay? I'm going to trim the bottom, the base. This is my base, trimmed it. I can use this tool too, to cut away. Okay, it's trimmed. I want to take it off the wheel. Well, first I'm going to uh, round this top a little bit. Okay, I wish I had a sham. Okay. Now I have my top, that's good. I'm going to throw water underneath, on the, or on the base. And then I'm gonna cut it once, cut it twice. This way I'm pushing, forcing water underneath, so it's gonna stick really good. And then I can take the, my board. I'm gonna get a little bit of water, put it on my board so it slips on the board nicely. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge for you guys. Then I just slide it right off and I have a piece. Done, okay?